Hi guys, welcome back to Raptors Garage OG. Recently I did a walk around video on, uh, hang on, I did a walk around video on uh, Heimdall. Uh, we are doing a you know, pre-trip inspection and uh, I said in the video that the um, exhaust was blowing. Now I just assumed that the bolts had actually come loose uh, on the mid joint. I was wrong. It's not the first time I've been wrong. Uh, the exhaust was actually cracked. Uh, I'm just looking for the piece. There we go. I've actually sawn this off. I'll show you why in a second. The actual flange. You can actually see that? There you go. The mating flange had broke off on both sides. So all the bits were trapped in there so it just looked like it was loose so uh, when I undid it um, it was cracked it just fell apart I've never seen that before weird but I've been and bought a new mid pipe <laughs> a complete mid pipe now this is just a straight through pipe and I'll tell you what it's bloody loud uh, it sounds cool, but on a long trip, it's going to get tiresome, I tell you. Uh, so I'm going to put a uh, centre box in it. Now, the reason I didn't just buy a centre box, the way my handbrake cable and everything is set up under the truck, uh, a full-size mid box interferes. Uh, and interferes quite a lot with the, the way the handbrake... Basically, the cable sits on top of the exhaust. And you don't want that because it'll melt. So that goes in like that. Yeah, like that. There you are. So you can see it. There you go. Goes in that way. Um, what I'm going to do is cut it there, cut it there, and somewhere I've got my mid box. There you go. I've got my mid box to go in, which is also a straight through pipe. <laughs> but it's a glass packed exhaust, it's a glass packed mid, mid box. So this actually takes all the harsh sound out, but keeps it sounding nice. So we're just going to chop that and weld it together. So that's going in there like that. So I only want the two, the two ends off this. If I had an exhaust flaring tool, I could have actually made that, but uh, it's 40 quid for the mid pipe. Uh, and this was already on the, on the truck. So I've put it on the bandsaw, chopped it off. And that's ready to weld on. And Teddy's fascinated by it. So uh, I'm going to chop the front piece off first. Uh, we'll take that through to the bandsaw, chop the front piece off, weld that on, and then offer the back bit uh, back bits up because it's dead easy to get this out of line because those two front and rear brackets actually line up. So uh, you can actually get it a bit cocked if you weld it wrong. So I'll weld the front piece on, hang it on the truck, mark it, make sure it's right, then bring it back in and weld it. Uh, and then I've just got the tailpipe to put on, which is just a straight through tailpipe. But uh, that's just enough to take the, the harsh, the real harsh exhaust note out. So uh, yeah, let's get that welded on. Tack it on. 
Probably helpful for turning the gas on. Try again with some gas. There you go guys, I've just welded the other end on, so uh, we've got that end on. And I've put a slight little kink in this, so it runs just slightly off because of the way the mounts are. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. There's, uh, it is deliberate, so that should sit better on the mounts. So let's go and offer that up and see what it sounds like. Exhaust all on pretty simple job it's just two bolts where it joins on in the middle uh, and I've just put the tailpipe on which is just literally pushed on so I'm going to leave you back here and you can listen to what this sounds like I know what it sounds like because like I said it is the old exhaust just rebuilt so uh, yeah I'll go and start it up All fixed didn't even rattle it's it's clearing the body perfectly that's great that is it sounds good so uh, that's another bit ready for the Pyrenees trip so if you've enjoyed it guys give me that thumbs up make sure to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.